Hello, it is Social Media Saturday, July 27th, 2019. Steve Cypress here with a quick tip for you. The great equalizer. That's what social media is, folks. That's what the internet is in general, but absolutely, especially social media. You are seeing it right up close and personal and right in front of everybody's eyes in the political world. I mean, Barack Obama was the the first Twitter president, and he was using social media, not using it really that well, so don't copy what he did, but then Trump came along, and look what happened. Trump became equal, if not more prominent, a lot more prominent, actually, than all of his competitors, actual politicians, actual governors and senators, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. I mean, you know, how many times was Trump few years ago in the, the election, how many times was, oh, he'll, he'll drop out now, he's nobody, he has no chance, blah, blah, blah. Social media gives everybody the chance. Here comes an absolute newcomer, never held a political office, not even head of his homeowners association. Uh, and yet, with the adept use of social media, Trump became president. Do we have to say any more? Now you see AOC coming along. Same thing. Here's a completely out of the blue, you know, one minute she's a bartender, the next minute she's the most well-known person in the entire Congress of the United States. And there's people that have been in that swamp for decades. She comes along as a freshman congresswoman and takes command of all the attention. Uh, so you can see, like, in the news there, like, Pelosi has to meet with her, and, oh, there's this AOC plus three. Notice how it isn't one of the others plus three. Even there's four of them. It's AOC and the others because AOC is the one getting all the attention because of her smart use of social media. So if you are not yet using social media, you got to get out there and use it, folks. Uh, small businesses all over the world are taking advantage of YouTube and Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and Snapchat, all the rest of them, LinkedIn, all the social media sites, they're taking advantage to propel themselves into the limelight to get lots of attention, lots of exposure in the media that would have cost tons of money back in the day. And I'm recording this video, I'm putting it all over social media with a cell phone. It's in my pocket. I mean, probably the least use of it is as a phone. However, it's a tiny little device that costs a few hundred bucks and works right out of the box. There's no user manual that I know of. I don't know anybody that's ever needed a user manual for an iPhone. You open it up and it works. And you turn on the camera and boom. And you go get a free account at YouTube and boom, you start a channel and suddenly you're broadcasting. And you get a free Twitter account, a free Facebook account, free Instagram account, and on and on and on. And suddenly you doing it right, using social media correctly, can start capturing attention where others in your industry, in your marketplace, anywhere, uh, suddenly realize that all the money in the world and all the established time they've been in business and they've been around and all of that they're the member of the Chamber of Commerce or they're the head of the whatever, or the, they, doesn't matter compared to the proper use of social media. It's I think even you calling it the great equalizer, which I did in the title of this video, is an understatement. I think that's selling it short. People that use social media go way ahead of people that don't, even when you have little advertising dollars compared. So I have clients who are solo or small firm attorneys with a few associates and maybe 10 or 12 employees going up against firms with 50, 80, 100 attorneys and all the support staff and three floors and one big downtown building and they put millions of dollars into advertising and yet my clients, through the adept use of effective marketing for small business owners, including social media, are able to get some big cases away from these big companies that could not have been done years ago. Take advantage. Use social media and use it correctly. Use it wrong and it's not going to do any good for you. Use it right, man, the world's your oyster. And if you want help using it right, as always, head on over to helpfromsteve.com, and I will personally get on the phone with you 
and help you put together a social media strategy so that you can maximize your time, effort, and advertising dollars. And if, go again, I'm selling it short, go way ahead of just pulling even with others vying for the same prospects, the same clients or patients or members or customers as you, pull way ahead of them. Kardashians, another great example. And on and on and on. And all kinds of kids that are all over YouTube with their channels making hundreds of thousands, millions a year from their dorm rooms or their mom's basement or whatever. When, who's ever heard of these people? Well, they're making millions of dollars. Are you? No. Social media. Great equalizer, if not the great, I don't know, what's better than being equal? The great beat the competitioner. Maybe I'll come up with a better name than that. Couldn't come up with a worse one. And that'll do it for Social Media Saturday. I'll be back tomorrow just to check in and say hello as always on Sunday Funday. And I'll be back on Direct Mail Monday with some more business building tips. Help from Steve.com is where you head over. If you want my personal help, getting a lot more effective, getting a lot more bang for your buck, and building a business of your dreams. That's what I'm here to do. Head over to helpfromsteve.com if you want me to help you do that. Catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye.